Welcome here at the Everest in Chicago, and I'm John Joho, the chef owner of the Everest. I don't care about the name, he was the owner of the building at the time. Was his middle name, he told me the one thing would you have to call the restaurant by my name. And I thought, what is your name? He took Everest. I thought, okay, why not? And when I came here in the Midwest, on well, the beginning it was okay, where well, you can use it with your hand one on one, but when you pick up the phone or somebody speaks English with you, you dare the what are they saying? I have no idea, I don't even know what to answer. Oh, we can go way, 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 way back. I really started to so cooking on peeling vegetables, not cooking, first peeling vegetables, chopping pasta yeah, when I was six years old. I worked in different countries. I worked in France, Germany, Switzerland, Italy. You respect every customer the same, no matter who they are. Maybe you have a different conversation, but you don't can cook differently. Everybody is treated the same. Maybe this is your best friend, if this is the most wealthy person in the world, if this is a, a Maybe a star, it makes no difference. You know, can cook different to everybody. What are we doing today is Malpec oysters with caviar and horseradish. I know everybody's afraid to open some oysters, don't be afraid. You just take a knife and crunch it in the bottom, and you can see how, how easy it is. Uh, how many want for dinner tonight? Uh, let's go make it seven. Six plus one for the grandpa. Okay. You have all this iodine water. We take all the water out. We have to season this a little bit. We put a little bit of fresh horseradish. We just glad a little bit. Okay. I made really small diced cucumber. Maybe just a little bit. Sharp shallots. Same, very really little bit. A touch of cream. With a fresh sea salt. Black pepper. Little flavor. And now, the most important, just add some caviar. Don't be shy. You mix everything together touch of lemon, uh, to give a touch of acidity, I'm adding just one drop. Now like you all say, when you work with caviar, you have to go very careful, we're talking, everything has to be very balanced. It's a very easy recipe. You put it in on each, on, I just put a little bit of, of dill on. It's the most important, it's a test. It's like a conversation with a person, what is the most important? It's not how she looks, it's what, what is in her hand. It's the same with the food. You go, what tastes the best? Et voilà, les jeux sont faits. I will use only fresh American ingredients. This means my philosophy is find what is on the market, what is available in this country, and still today I'm not importing nothing at all. And I'm sure you heard many times you still have this clangs, you know, the cooks eat on the, on the fly, quick behind the line somewhere, the front of the house, they maybe eat somewhere else. No, here, everybody, only this, all my restaurants, they all come together, eat together, while they have the time where they eat. I think this is more relaxing time. You want to feel this friendship we have. You know, it's like a little family. The atmosphere of my restaurant is very important. And like you can see, I have a lot of art. I like art. I'm collecting art I have. And the art on the food, I think, goes really well together. What well, thing number one, food has five senses. Only thing, you look it, you smell it, you heard it, you touch it, you taste it, it has a sense. When I think you work with your sense with food, they communicate with, with your body. The whole environment on food, I think, the best friends are on the tables. You make so many friendships on the table. One time customers they want to see you, but you know you're waiting when they come back. And that's the goal I think you have to go for.